Hello, hello, and welcome to my Saturday thought. It's a lovely warm Saturday, not too hot, not too cold, just right uh, in London. And I'm going to give you one more uh, stranger story because one of the things that disturbs me is that we are all overcome with fear. We're overcome with fear. We, every human being that we see on the street or we see that we don't know, it to us is a potential killer. And I have never thought that way, and thank goodness I have never thought that way, because as you've heard from the previous two or three stories, uh, I could never be where I am if it hadn't been for the help of strangers who took pity on me or just wanted to help a woman in trouble. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, and we are afraid to do that. So I'm going to give you um, a couple more stories in this one, and then I'll be done with the the talking to strangers and give you some other new ideas. But I lived in Pacifica, California, and the rapid transit system uh, to San Francisco ended in a town uh, called Colma, which was where uh, they buried all the people from San Francisco. I've always said, uh, when someone says to me, um, I live in Colma, I always say, well, my parents do too, because it's filled with dead people. Uh, it's got all the graveyards for people in San Francisco, so uh, coma. And I, that's where the rapid transit system ends. So the routine, when you would go into town, if you didn't want to drive, which I usually did, but if you wanted to uh, take the uh, rapid transit, you would go to coma, you would park in a very large parking garage, and then um, you would go... Um, you would you would uh, take the rapid transit and come back, and then at night you would drive back to where you lived. And I lived in Pacifica, which was another ten miles, another fifteen miles, maybe ten, not that far. And um, on this particular evening, um, I I came through the 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 gate uh, out of the rapid transit to go to my car when I heard this man talking to the information booth, and he said, "When is the next bus to Pacifica?" And there are no buses to Pacifica after something like 9 o'clock at night. And this was about 11. So I said, well, I'm going to Pacifica. I'll take you. And the silence was the frightening. Nobody said anything. But I knew then that I had said something that was definitely not acceptable. And the man looked at me. And the woman in the information booth looked at me. And they said, do you really want to take this stranger in your car. And I said, why not? I took him in my car and we, um, <laughs> and, and I took him to Pacifica and he was absolutely fine. I took him to the Lindemar Shopping Center, which is nice and safe. He was a polite gentleman and, and I helped him and I helped him and I felt better about it because I think when you help another person, you help yourself. Um, and then and another incident. So, I'm saying that when someone needs help, um, I think it enhances us to reach out to them. Um, but uh, again, I also did this when I was in Redwood City, and a woman tripped and fell in my um, on the pavement in front of my house, and I brought her into the house. What do you do when you see somebody that's fallen and hurt themselves? And you, you, you bring them in and you help them. And this is something that she simply couldn't understand. But this is um, this is a, a thing, a, a, an attitude that I think is so important, so important now uh, when we walk down the street and we see people, that we reach out and we help them. However, now with the pandemic, people become even more afraid if you reach out and help them and if you don't. And I was walking down the street and I saw this Muslim woman and she was Muslim because she had a, it's a, it's not a, it's a hijab, I think. She was, she was, she was veiled, and she was carrying several packages. And I said to her, uh, "Can I, can I help you?" And she recoiled as if I had said, "Hello, I have the virus. I'm going to spit on you." And that was when it made me realize that it's terribly important for us to reach out and to help uh, one another. So this has been a sort of a preachy uh, thought. Um, but it's something to think about, that when 
you, I mean, people think, oh, people who help people are so good. Uh, no, no, you're helping yourself by helping other people. I think that I'm the richer for the people that I have helped. And I think that I am even more rich for the people that have helped me. Um, I have never, and I, I would not have a house if it hadn't been for a stranger that helped me find the house. I would not um, be in London if it hadn't been for a stranger that accepted me and let me live in this place. I would not be a comedian if it hadn't been for a stranger named Tony Sparks who listened to me and said, you're funny, and then took me under his wing and helped me get to where I am today. So that's just something to think about on this thought. And thank you so much. Tomorrow I'll have something more funny. All right.